Hi everyone. I am going to read a story to you today about a family pet. It's right behind me. It's called Where is Love, Biscuit? And Biscuit is the dog in the story. And look, there's another pet on the cover. There are actually two more. There's a cat and another cat. And I think they might be kittens, which are baby cats. And Biscuit is a dog, but I think he's a baby dog. So that means he would be called a puppy. The title of the book is Where is Love, Biscuit? And it's by Alyssa Satin Capuccillo. Where is love, Biscuit? Woof, woof! Love is in the soft blanket Daisy shares with her kittens. And you can feel right here that the blanket, the pink blanket is very soft. I wonder who Daisy is. Do you think Daisy is the mom, the mother cat? And let's see how many kittens she has. One, two, three, four. Where is love, Biscuit? Woof, woof! Love is in the crunchy cookies we bake with Dad. Here's the little girl in the family, the daughter, and here is her dad. And they're baking cookies together. And look, Biscuit is looking at the cookies that have already been baked, sitting on the counter. I think you might want to eat one. And we can touch these cookies and listen. They're rough. They're very scratchy. Where is love, Biscuit? Woof, woof! Love is in the woolly sweaters Grandma knits especially for us. Look at this beautiful sweater that the grandmother is knitting. It's a red sweater and if I touch it, it feels very soft. It's made of wool and wool is soft. I see Biscuit pulling on the yarn that grandmother is using to knit the sweater. Where is love, Biscuit? Woof, woof! Love is in the story we share with the baby at bedtime. Here's the little girl in the family, and Biscuit is climbing up on the stool where the little girl is sitting to take a look at what she's doing. And I think she's reading to her little brother. And his pajamas are very soft. And look, the little brother has his teddy bear right next to him. And the mother is also reading a story to the baby. Where is love, Biscuit? Woof, woof! Love is in the hugs and kisses you give me every day, sweet puppy. Woof! Oh, and I forgot to touch Biscuit's fur. It's very soft. He has long fur, but some dogs have short, smooth fur. The end. So let's take a look back in the story to see how we show people and animals that we love them. How do you show your love? If we look back at the first page, remember that Daisy, the mother cat, shares with her kittens and that's how she shows them that she loves them because she's sharing and we share with family and friends too. And on this page, they're making cookies together and spending time together. And that's one way that they show each other that they love each other. The father and the daughter do something special together. 
We can do special things with our pets, too. What kinds of things can you think of that you might do with your pet? On the next page, grandmother is knitting a sweater for someone that she loves. And that's a way that grandmother shows that she cares and loves her family by giving them something that she's made. Have you ever made something for someone special in your family? Here, they're sharing a story, reading with someone that you care about shows them that you care and shows them that you love them. Did you know that you could read to your pets too? I think pets would love to be read to. Maybe you can try it. And finally, we show each other that we love each other and we care by giving hugs and kisses. And you can do that with your family members, your friends, and your pets. Those are all different ways that we can show love and show that we care about each other, about our family, our friends, and our pets.